Since the minute I got the 13-inch MacBook Pro, I've had this spec shell on it. Uh, it's a great way to protect the device. It means that I don't have to treat it carefully and baby it all the time. Uh, it's thin, it's really protective, and it's just, you know, overall just a great, great way to be able to use and even a little bit abuse, not that I abuse my notebooks, uh, to, to not have to treat it with kick gloves. The issue with it, we'll see in a second, is that this particular case, this particular shell was created for the 13-inch unibody MacBook, not the unibody MacBook Pro. So Spec was kind enough to actually send me uh, the new Spec shell, which is designed for the new unibody for the MacBook Pro. And we're going to take a quick look at a couple of the key differences between the two shells uh, and why they wanted to update it. I'm really glad that they did. As always with the uh, spec shell, uh, you've got a top piece, and then inside they uh, give instructions, and they include a really nice chamois uh, as well. So if we take a look at the shell I've been using, uh, everything is accessible. You know, you can get the one headphone the dual uh, headphone mic jack, and you can get to it, but it's pretty tight in there. And also, if you look back over where the uh, where the power adapter goes in, it's a pretty tight squeeze. Flipping it around, uh, there's no issue at all. Uh, the slot loading optical drive is just fine. So the real is on the business side, where again it works, but it's kind of tight. So if we take this shell off and we put on the other one, we'll see what they've updated, uh, what they did to change it just a little bit so that it's a, a little better fit. What you can see with the updated shell is that it's still relatively tight over here for the power adapter, but again, it worked fine before and it works fine now. But if you go over to the other side, they've actually pulled the plastic back significantly, which gives you more access to the headphone jack, headphone mic combination jack actually, and if you're using something that has some width to plug in, uh, it actually gives you more flexibility because the case doesn't get in the way in the, same, in the same way any longer. Flipping it over, they've also pulled the plastic back here as well so that the Kensington lock is exposed. It wasn't exposed before, um, but they also did, uh, as Chris pointed out in his uh, MacBook comparison, they put it awfully close to the optical drive slot. Um, if you're using something that's in the wrong position, it's just going to completely get in the way and something's going to be a problem. So that's just a quick look and a quick comparison of the old and the new uh, spec hard shells. Uh, I swear by these things. Um, and while if you have one of the old ones, unless you use the Kensington lock, uh, you probably don't need to update it, but there is something nice about having one that actually is built specifically for the device so that everything is fully accessible. Uh, as always, Spec does a really good job with these.